Hey guys, what is up? This is Harry and welcome back to another Android Auto video. Lately, a lot of viewers have been asking me to resolve an ongoing issue, especially with their Android 13 devices, wherein they are unable to use some of the AAAD apps. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys an alternate method of installing an app that might just resolve a few of the issues. Let's get started right away. For reference purpose, here I'm going to be using my newly purchased Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G phone currently running on the latest software version of 5.0 for One UI and 13 for Android. And same goes for the Android Auto version which is currently running on 8.6.625054 which means that this method should work for you as well on the latest Android Auto versions running on Android 13. Let's first take a look at what all is working in this setup, then we'll take a look at the issues we are facing and then finally the solution that I have for you. As you just saw, Spotify works just fine, videos are still playable in the Formata Auto app, the car stream app still works too. By the way, we can still play videos while driving in both Formata Auto and car stream apps which is great for your co-passengers or your family while you drive. As always, this video is purely for information sharing purpose and I do not recommend any driver to watch any sort of videos on the car's screen or head unit while they drive. This option may be used only for the co-passengers to keep them entertained while you concentrate on the road. Oh and just in case you're looking for an affordable wireless Android Auto device for your car then you can check out this one which I've been using for quite some time now and it is just fantastic. I'll leave a link to the video at the end of this video for your convenience. And of course, the phone app still works. Now let's take a look at these two screen mirroring apps, the AA Mirror and AA Mirror Plus. Selecting the AA Mirror app, I'm still getting the start now option on my phone screen. Pressing this button should immediately start the mirroring on the car's head unit. However, as you can see, here we get a black screen. This is one of the issues many people are now facing ever since the Android version 13 updates on their phones. And same goes for the AA Mirror Plus app in which also we get the same black screen. Apart from these two apps, all other apps still work for which I've made dedicated videos on for you to check out. I'll leave a link to the playlist of those videos at the end of this video for you to check out. Now let's move on to the solution I was referring to at the beginning of this video and why you clicked on this video in the first place. The app that we're going to install today is known as Screen2 Auto. You can download this app from the AAAD app just like all the other apps. However, some phones are not compatible with the AAAD app for some reason. Which is why I'm going to be showing you guys a different method of installing the Screen2 Auto app on your phone. So just follow along this video and perform the same steps side by side on your phone. And be sure not to miss out on any of the steps as there are many settings we need to change within the app in order for this to work properly. On your phone, go to settings, click on connected devices, click on Android Auto, Scroll down and tap on version number continuously to enable developer options. Mine is already enabled. If you see an allow button then click on OK to allow developer options. Scroll up and click on the three dots on the top right corner. Select developer settings. Click on application mode. Select developer. Scroll down and check unknown sources. Click on video resolution. Select the maximum resolution or change it later on as per your requirement. Close all the applications. Go to files and locate the downloaded APK files. You can find the direct download link in the description below this video. Click on Kingstaller to install it. Click on install. The installation may take a few seconds. Then go ahead and open it. You may see access permissions for the Kingstaller app. Go ahead and allow them whenever they appear on the screen. Go back and click on the button select file. Select s2a.apk. Click on the button install as king. Click on install. You may see a warning to block the unknown app. Click on install anyway. The installation may take a few seconds. Click on done. Go to settings. Click on connected devices. Click on Android Auto. Click on customize launcher. Uncheck all unwanted apps. 
only those apps that you select here will be shown in the car's head unit so go ahead and remove the ones you do not use open the screen to auto app click on begin here we need to enable all of these permissions one by one so let's go ahead and do that and allow file access wherever needed as well when enabling the special abilities option click on installed apps click on screen to auto switch it on and click on allow now go back and enable all of the remaining permissions Once done, click on the right arrow and agree to the terms on the next page, warning you against using the app while driving. Now in this main menu, click on the first option that says screen settings. Under override screen brightness, move the slider to 100. You can adjust this later on as per your convenience. Enable the option alternative method of rotation. Go back and click on screen restore settings. Under rotation, select the 90 degree option. Go back and click on settings launcher. Under the first tab which is the settings tab, enable the option return to S2A launcher. Go back. There are no settings to be changed in touch button settings. Go back and click on other settings. Enable the option auto start application. Enable the option alternative touch. And for now let's leave the option underneath it as it is which is currently set to profile 1. Enable the option forced shutdown of services. Enable the option do not restore state. Enable the option request audio focus on connect. And now there are no more settings to be changed. You can close screen to auto app now. Now let's connect the phone to the car using either a cable or wirelessly whichever the case may be. On your car, click on the Android Auto button and select the Screen to Auto app. On your phone, click on Start Now. On car screen, click on the top left arrow to start mirroring. On your phone, click on Start Now again if you see it. Now there is a chance this may not work in the first few times as you can see here. To fix this, simply go back, exit the S2A app and reopen it and it should work automatically. Now here we can see that we are not able to use the touch functionality on the head unit. We still need the phone to move around. There is a way in which we can use the touch functionality on the head unit. I'll show you that in a moment. For now, let me play a YouTube video for you guys to prove that everything works just like the AA Mirror or AA Mirror Plus apps. One of the very few problems with my phone, the Kia Sonic GTX Plus, is that it does not come with wireless Android Auto as soon as you get the wired option only. I mean, this is a top of the line variant of Sonic and this feature should have been included here. Yet, weirdly enough, few of the lower end variants of Sonic itself do get the wireless Android Auto feature. What's up with that, Kia? Meaning that every time I want to use Android Auto while on the road, I have to first spin around with a really long USB. And there you go, works perfectly fine. Now let's try getting the touch functionality working on the head unit. For that, we need to now exit Android Auto, disconnect the cable, open the Screen to Auto app, click on Other Settings. Now under the option Alternative Touch, select a different profile. I'll be selecting the second profile. This profile may or may not enable the touch option for you. If it doesn't, simply try the third option. Hopefully, one of the other options would work in your case. Now close the S2A app and reconnect the cable and start Android Auto. And select the screen to auto app once again and repeat the process told earlier. And as you can see the touch functionality is now working on my car's head unit. This is the only advantage of using this screen to auto app over either the AA Mirror or the AA Mirror Plus apps. Using this method we can control our phone directly from the car's head unit which is quite convenient. And yes we can still watch the videos being played while driving the car support my work and share this video with your friends and family who are looking for such a device for their car. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Hope you found the video informative and that this method worked for you as well. Do let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care.